So in this video I'll be showing you how to create a glitch effect and I'll be using this picture for the example and I'll leave the link for it in the description. So I'm first making sure my layer is highlighted in the layer studio. Then I'm going to the channels studio and this displays the colour channels and the alpha channels for the whole picture. But for this video I'm just focusing on the colour channels which are the red, green and blue composites. I'm going to start with red so I'm clicking on it and now anything we do will only affect the reds in the picture. And now to bring the colour out to the side to get the glitch effect I need to add a sheer filter. So I'm going to filters, then distortions and I'm clicking on sheer. And then these two graphs come up and this is how you can drag the colours out either to the sides or up and down or both. So I'm going to be dragging all the colours in the same direction but moving them a little bit further each time. So I'll be moving it slightly to the right and slightly up. But you can move them around in opposite directions if you want so just have a mess around and see what you like. And when I'm happy with it I'm clicking apply. And then I'm going back to the channel studio and I'm going to the next colour down which is green and I'm clicking on it and then I'm going back to filters and I'm adding another sheer filter. So then I'm dragging the green just a little bit further out than the red. And I'm clicking apply. Then back to the channel studio again and I'm clicking on blue. I'm adding a sheer adjustment and again I'm dragging that a little bit further than the green. And then apply. And now to see all the colours, I'm going back to the channel studio and I'm clicking on the little eye icon for each of the colours to bring the colours back. But now the sides of the picture are a little bit messed up, so the easiest thing would be to just crop the picture to get rid of them. So I'm going to the crop tool and I'm just dragging the sides in. 